Welcome to the University of Huddersfield, home of the business mine, available to any student who wants to run their own business. All you need is a good idea, a strong pitch, and the drive to make your idea into reality. Situated on floor 10 of the Central Services Building, the business mine is a place where you can develop your ambitions. The business mine provides free internet and computer access, as well as the use of the phones and printers. My idea is an iPhone 4 filming aid, where, well, this is it here. It is a, th this component called the glyph, which I'm going to use for my prototype handle. Um, and what it is, you slide on there, and then my handle hypothetically will be here, and then you attach it there, and you can film with smooth motion shots, and then when you've done filming, you can attach it there, put it on your hand, and edit it away and then upload it to any website and then put it away. My um, handle will be pocket sized as well so it'll be easy to put in your pocket, carry around. Right now I don't see myself doing anything else because you, you become confident. You start to see the world in a completely different way as well. You know everything starts to make sense and you push yourself so do come if anyone does have an idea do come. It will just let you you realize your potential basically because sometimes if you finish and you get a job that's it you know you don't realize what else you could do and the sky's the limit and you are the person who is responsible for your own success uh, it's part of the journey uh, to do research work as well as the ongoing business support uh, in order to start up you need to do your homework right and you need to have the necessary support and i find the business mind very helpful in that regard Paul Greetham is the resident expert and is on hand to provide advice and guidance as well as heading up the weekly events. I think the benefits of the weekly events um, are largely that it takes you through all the processes you need to think about when starting a business, right from the start, the germination of the ideas, developing the research, etc. Right through to the point where you're actually forming the business and all the information you need to do that. Networking sessions allow you to interact with industry experts and share your ideas. They are very useful, um, also to find out a lot of um, a lot of other people's businesses that they're all doing. Um, but also, they all relate to you as well, and they all, they're all helping each other. The EPY, the Enterprise Placement Unit, is a very exciting alternative to a conventional placement where people go out into business. Um, the idea is that instead of working for someone else, you actually develop your own business idea during the course of the year, and we give them an awful lot of support to help them do that. I'd say it's helped with having an idea and then actually finding out if it's even possible, really, rather than just thinking about it. You get your questions answered, which is always good. Every week, experts are available to give advice and answer your questions chatting with other people in the same boat, it, you work out what you can do for them, what they can do for you, um, you can bounce ideas, some of, some of the, I don't know whether to call them friends or colleagues, it kind of feels a bit of both, um, they're having ideas about my business that I, you know, I, I'm too tired to think of and likewise I'm having sort of suggestions that I can give to them, so it's, sort of, it's that sort of two heads are better than one, we're all doing our own individual things but actually coming together and sharing that information, because it's not with competitors, it means you're not quite as sort of candid about what you say. Well, we have quite a lot of in-house expertise, and we use that uh, throughout throughout the series of events. But when we have some gaps, we like to bring in people from outside who have particular levels of expertise and uh, practical knowledge of uh, certain business aspects that we can't cover ourselves. I really like the business mind and the reason I like the business mind so much is because it's a great sort of opportunity for people to explore ideas and to nurture a business. So it's a case of you know sort of thinking, all right, what am I wanting to do? How do I now achieve it? And the advice that's given in the, the business mind, I find, is second to none. It's very, very timely, it's very, very relevant, and of course it's free for students. But does the business mind work? 
Thanks to the mine, Alan Kane started up his own clothes shop, Dye's Boutique, in the Byron Arcade. One of the main things that the business mind done for me was allow me to apply for a research and development grant and that was a £500 grant which allowed me to go to London and research in some of the brands that I'm stocking in the shop currently. Uh, the, the grant was so invaluable, it was unbelievable. It gave me two trips to London. That was hotels, travel, food, uh, access to the shows that I went to, which weren't cheap by any means. Uh, so yeah, without that grant, possibly could have not have opened the shop. So the business mind was real crucial in allowing me to apply for the £500 research and development grant which obviously is available to anyone who wants to go and join the business mine. Do you need a business mind for the business mine? According to Ashley and Kelly, founders of Ditch and Dazzle, not at all. Because we're design students, we've not really got the business mind. So, so you just set up an interview and they're just you know, there for you straight away. They're like, oh yeah, come in the next day and they're just, um, so say you want a meeting with Paul about say HMRC to like, that's how you apply for being self-employed and say like they like send you letters about tax and national insurance. Invaluable. Essential. Inspirational. <laughs> Perfect. Networking. It's interesting. Essential. Insightful. Inspirational. Awesome.